Hi, my beautiful Pisces. What's up, you guys? It's Jessica, and it's Trust and True to Row. I'm going to do a quick channel message for you guys. Let's see here. What is the message that I need to let my beautiful Pisces know? This is for Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus sign. If you have Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus in Pisces, I'm sure this is going to resonate with you strongly, okay? Crosswatchers, third parties, what's up? Let's get into this, my beautiful Pisces. What is the message that I need to get to my beautiful Pisces? What is the message? What is it that I'm channeling here? What's happening here? What's going on? Go ahead and hit that like button for me, you guys. All right, so there could be a Pisces, Scorpio, or Cancer coming in. Mm hmm So there's somebody that this could be past, present, future energy for some of you guys. Some of you guys, this may have not even transpired yet. For some of you guys, it's going to be resonating strongly with your reading. It's so weird because I know this is the Knight of Cups, right? But I felt like there was an energy of where this person is coming off very strong. So they're like, they're coming in, but it's like, it's very intense. They're coming in with so much intensity. I don't know why I'm getting that. So maybe that's because they this this rose is here. So when I okay, so it's something that like this person they do they are a very romantic person, but maybe they're coming in like it seems extra. I'm not gonna lie, it's like extra. Like someone could be renting a carriage, renting a horse. You know what I'm saying? Someone's like really coming in very strong. So if this person is someone who's romantic, then they're being extra romantic. If they would bring like usually maybe like one rose, they're bringing a dozen roses. Like, you know, they're writing you a poem. Wow, someone's taking you on a picnic. Someone's doing the most. I don't know why. I'm feeling that strongly. Someone's coming in doing the most. And like they're bringing all the tricks, like all the gifts. <laughs> like that's what I'm seeing. Wow, okay. This person is even getting dressed up for you. Yeah, they're trying to figure out what you like, what to do. I told you they're coming in with all the tricks and we got the magician in reverse. I don't know why I felt that way. Like, they're coming in with all the tricks. They're trying to, um, they're trying to, what's the word, you guys? Impress you. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, this person is trying to impress you. Like, really, really trying to impress you. This person could be getting, like, a new fresh haircut. Um, uh, they're they're going to get shaved. Uh, like, before they see you, this person is either going to try maybe a different uh, outfit or they're going to try to wear something differently. They may even wear a hat when you see them next time. Like, I don't know, you guys. This person is trying really hard. I don't know why I'm getting it. Like... Again, I'm not trying to say that this is not in this person's nature because it is. This person is someone who's very romantic, but this time they're coming with something different. Like they're 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 picking something different. Like, wow, what in the heck? <laughs> I got on the why. It's like they're busting out the new Rolex or they're coming out with the new shoes or they're gonna do something different. They run like I don't know why when I saw this like um this picnic, it's like they may even do say, hey, do you want to go on a picnic? Or they might even write you a letter or write you a poem or bring you a card next time they see you. It's someone's coming in, but honey, this person, it's like they want you, somebody here wants you to feel like, <laughs> there's an energy where this person wants you to feel like, 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 you don't know what you're missing. Yeah, they want you to feel like you don't know what you're missing. Or, okay, okay, this person is, like, I'm hearing this person saying, this is what you're missing. This is what you're missing. So this person wants you to know what you're missing. Like, whoa, okay. This person wants you to know what you're missing, baby. And I'm not, and I'm not picking up anything negative right now. It's just that this, this, that's what I'm seeing. This person is someone who is very chivalrous. They are someone who's very sweet, very nice, very romantic, very loving, very caring, very affectionate. But there's a, there's like, this is, it's like they're going the extra mile with these ladders. I don't know why I'm getting that. Like, I just kind of feel like this person is going the extra mile when they come in towards you. So you'll know, you'll know who this person is, baby, because you know, I'm not lying about this situation. And they want you to know they want you to see what you're what you're missing. They want you to know what you're missing. 
that's how they want you to feel about them. Like, damn, this is what I'm missing? Two of Swords. Come on, because this is definitely telling a story here. Okay, see, right now, this person is in the process. It's almost like they're in the process of planning, figure, figuring it out, what they're going to do, looking over their options and choices, looking at different restaurants, looking at different, um, you know, different places, trying to figure out what's on the menu, trying to figure out what you're going to like, but they also want to do something that they're liking. This person is really trying to pick things out right now, but they want it to be perfect. So this person is trying to make something picture perfect. They're trying to make it the best. Um, and I feel like right now they're not saying this to you. Like they're not communicating this to you. They're probably not talking about it to you. Wow. I don't feel like you know anything about it. Is this supposed to be a surprise? What the heck is going on? Like you don't know anything about this, Pisces. You don't know anything. Like this is you. Like you don't know what's going on. You don't know what this person is up to. You didn't even see that. You're not going to see this coming. You're not going to see this coming. And for some of you guys, you're probably not communicating with this person as much. What does this person have up their sleeve? Tell me more. Okay, Page of Pentacles. Tell me more. Ooh, okay. Okay, Five of Wands. Uh, okay, okay. All right, so, yeah, Pisces. This could be a Pisces that you're dealing with. This could be another Pisces, a, a Scorpio, um, or this could be a Cancer. This could also be a Capricorn, Virgo, or a Taurus. Gemini. All right. We got a lot of water. We got fire, air, and earth here, though. So, Pisces, I feel like when this person comes in, because it's going to happen, they're going to come in. You're not going to, it's almost like, I, I hate to say this, but you're not going to pay this person any attention. Like, whatever that this person is doing, all of this extra stuff that they're doing um, for you, for themselves, I don't feel like you're buying this. You're not buying it. Oh, gosh. Okay. So, you're not buying any of this. Like, I, this is energy where this is not working on you. It's not going to work on you. Yeah, it's just not working on you. You're not buying into this. You're not buying any of it. And it's not appeasing you is what I'm hearing. So this not this is not appeasing you at all. Like, I'm hearing not even a little bit. Sheesh. Okay. Oof. I don't feel like you're interested in what they're selling or yeah it's one of those things where it's not, i'm not interested in what you're selling or i'm not interested in i'm not buying this <laughs> thank you okay you guys are not buying it you're not buying it at all but the thing about it is um i feel like you have the blindfolds on though you're also having the blindfolds on i feel like i'm i can't knock this person I, I will say this. I, I do see that. I don't know why this thing was shaking. I do see that this person doesn't have the most money in the world. Like, they don't have a lot. They don't have a lot to offer because they're coming up as a page of pentacles. So, financially, this person feels like they don't have a lot to offer you. Um, they don't have a lot of money. They can't really splurge like they want to. So, this would be someone who would, you know, decide to do a picnic with you. Um, you know what I'm saying? It's something big to them. Like, they're pulling out all the stops. It's something that's really big for them. For them, it's like, hey, it's an energy where I really did try, <laughs> you know? Like, and I kind of really feel like, yeah. In your head, you're almost like saying that this person can do better. I hate to say it and I hate to read it like this, but I have to keep it 100. It's almost like you're in your head like, okay, that's it. Like, you're like, that's it, that little bit, that's it. And so, <laughs> um, I feel like in the back of your head, you're like, I'm hearing you can do better. I'm hearing you saying this person can do better. Um, you may even feel like it's not even like, <laughs> honey, you're not, you're not amused. You're not appeased. I don't know. This is not appeasing you at all. And I hate to say it, but there is this bit of like, 
this bit of chaos or kind of drama where you're creating or you're making this a lot more difficult for this person and that's how they feel they feel like you're making this a lot harder for them or you're just making the situation difficult you're making this a struggle and what's going on is that i do feel like you're having some type of inner conflict here with this situation or this person because of how you're choosing to look at it how you're choosing to see it how you're looking at this person um Ooh, I don't know. It feels like there's a bit of like, there may be some bit of judgment here, harsh judgment coming from you. Um, you know, maybe like criticism. Again, that's what I'm seeing. That's what I'm seeing the outcome be. And because your energy is that way to this person, it's really going to make this person f um, really kind of feel kind of combative here with you. So, ooh. It started off with good intentions. This person really did have good intentions. Um, they really wanted you to like something. They really was trying to paint this picture or make something here look so, a certain way to you. Um, but maybe it's coming off as, to you where you feel like, you know, it's like that was a very cheap date or you could have done better or you could have done more. I'm not really interested in this. It's a very much like kind of a bit of a negative connotation, negative vibe, negative energy coming from you. So, you know, I'm going to keep it 100 with you. I do feel like this is going to bring about some type of strife um, or difficulties here between you and this person. So let's see, because this is crazy. Because this person looked like they was really, they felt like they were doing a damn thing. They felt like they were pulling, like, like they were pulling out all the, <laughs> I don't know, like they were, they were pulling all the stops here. Like, I don't know, like they were, they were, like, I don't know, that's how they felt. Or that's, that's what they wanted you to feel. Like they wanted you to feel this way about them. They wanted you to feel this, but I don't think you're feeling it. And I'm sorry, but you're just not feeling it. You're not feeling it, Pisces. What is this person's, um... Love messages here to you because you're definitely not feeling it and this is what's going to cause more um, friction between you and this person, okay? Like, it's just almost like, maybe I don't hear you say thank you. Maybe it's an energy of like, maybe they feel like you're unappreciative, but let's see. Okay, because Pisces, I really felt like someone, I don't know, there's an energy where I tried my best. I thought I picked out the best thing that you would like. <laughs> I don't know if this person went shopping for you, if they went shopping for someone that you love, or if they actually went looking for something. They, they really were. I do really feel like there was some, some thought out. They put, I'm honey, I'm sorry, but I feel like they did put a lot of love or a lot of emotions into this, you know? I mean, logically, they may weren't thinking about something that you may um, would have liked. I don't know why. This is almost like this person may have bought you an outfit or costume or they may have, you know, planned something. I, I, I don't know. They may have brought you something, maybe some roses. You're like, hold on, this ain't my favorite rose. Are you crazy? I like lilies, not roses. It was something like that, y'all. Y'all know I'm not going to show you cold name. This is how it happened. This may have been something that happened in the past. So stay with me. Follow me in this reading now. Because what I'm saying is that you don't like it. You didn't like it. You didn't appreciate it. You didn't value it. It caused, and, and whatever you did not, you didn't see this how they saw it. So there's an energy where y'all love language may be a little different. Y'all taste may be a little different. Maybe when it comes to clothes, maybe when it comes to jewelry, maybe when it comes to asset, maybe when it comes to what you would like to do, what you love to do. It's a little different, but I do feel like this person tried and I feel like the energy wasn't reciprocated. I feel like there was an argument or there was like a disagreement. Yeah, or this person definitely could tell that you weren't happy. So yeah, this did brought about some type of confrontation. This brought about some type of change here in this dynamic here between you and this person. This could have happened in the past. Let's keep going here. <clears throat> yeah, this brought, you see what I'm saying? Oh, wow. See, and the sad thing about all of this is that I feel like this person was already feeling heartbroken. I'm telling you, they were already feeling heartbroken. And they were already, already feeling sad, already, already feeling hurt. And it's almost like an energy where they wanted to do right. Maybe they wanted to do something right or do something good. Or it's like, I want to do better or I want to do something better or do something that Pisces will like or love. So, uh... 
I mean, the emotional effort, I feel like was kind of there, but at the same time, mm, this, this, just, this, it didn't turn out right. Honey, this just went, this, it went to crap, and this person is really feeling hurt. They're really feeling hurt by this. Mm-mm-mm. Yeah. Woo. You see what I'm saying? Like, I'm hearing they feared that this was going to happen. There's an energy where this person may have told you, no, you pick out, you pick out the outfits, you pick out the dates. No, you just tell me where you want to eat. Don't let no, and then your partner's like, no, you can do it. You can you can pick out where we're gonna go. It's fine. You can choose. It's fine. I don't care. And there's an energy of they fear that if you would have said this, that they may have would not pick out the right thing that you would like. Like they feared that you probably wasn't gonna like what they were going to decide, what they were gonna pick out, the place that you were guys were going to eat, maybe the vacation or maybe the clothes that they were going to wear, or maybe the clothes that they bought. There was something that this person tried to do, tried to offer you, but you did not like it. You did not like it. You just did not, you know, look at it like the same way. You did not saw so much love that went into what they chose or what they did. You didn't see it that way. You didn't see it for that. And so, wow, this was some type of rejection, hurt, or pain that that has like kind of been brought back up because you chose not to say how you truly, I mean, it's almost like you didn't really tell them much. Like, you didn't really give them any inkling. They kind of had to guess. They kind of had to guess this for themselves. Like they had to figure out what you would like or what, like it's almost like taking you somewhere blindfolded and then you getting there and you seeing something and you're being not really, you're not really amused by it. You feel like they put little effort in and really they thought they did a lot. See what I'm saying? You wanted this person to do more. You wanted more. You wanted to see more from this person. You wanted this person to invest a little bit more. You wanted them to try a little bit harder. <laughs> and if we're talking... Now, honey, if we're talking about a man here... Come on, y'all. Y'all know. They really think they be doing something sometimes. But <laughs> if we're talking about a woman here, then this person really was the thought that you were going to love this. Okay? <laughs> and you felt like, well... you If you're a man, Pisces, you probably was like... If you're a male, Pisces, you're probably like... You ain't heard nothing I said. You didn't listen to shit that I said. When I told you I like the color blue, I like the color red, you come and bring me this. You come, You ain't even got my favorite color. Like, it's something where someone really, really, really do not know how to take direction. Or they don't They don't pay attention when you're communicating or talking, what you're talking about, what you like, which maybe what you expect. So, at the end of the day, uh, Pisces, I feel like... I feel like this really hurt this person because I really do feel like they tried to come through. They really did try to come through. And it's crazy because they were already uncertain about what they should do, what option they should choose, what outfit they should pick out, how they should dress, how they should look, what they should wear, what place to bring you to. They were already in fear or uncertain that they were going to mess something up or that you weren't going to like it. And it kind of like, it seemed like their fear came true. As far as you finding fault, you found some type of fault or issue with whatever it is that they decided to do. And so, wow, this is getting, this is getting real. But hey, we got to take accountability, baby. All 2023. We got to take accountability. Yeah, this is your energy, honey. I mean, let's keep it real. Pisces, I feel like you're coming off as someone, you know, this may be an energy of like, you may have better taste than this person. I have to keep it 100. Maybe you just have better taste than this person. Um, <laughs> this person may have felt like this wasn't their area of expertise or whatever it is that they were having to make a decision when it comes to flower, plants, um, clothes, certain like things like that. It's just not their forte. It's not where they're strong at. And, hmm, yeah. Ugh. 
I see that even though this person, there was some type of conflict or deep down inside, this person did felt some type of animosity in regards to your reaction or your, your, your non-reaction. Cause some of you guys didn't react at all the way that they expected. This did hurt them deep down inside. I feel like they did not show you how bad this did hurt them. Um, they kind of like pushed it down or they, I don't feel like it was really, really express to you how bad it made them felt that you felt this way that you saw it like this so it's almost like pisces you're coming off as someone like you know what i should have just took i should have just done all of this by myself or i could have just done this better like you're coming off as i should have just done this i could have done this better blah 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 and the the question is is why didn't you why didn't you just do that um, I don't know. There's an energy of you feeling like you could have done a better job or. Mm. I don't know. It's kind of weird, you guys, because. See, the woman hand is here and then this is the seven of pentacles. There could have been a, I'm hearing someone saying you should have just gave me the money or maybe this person is feeling like I should have just gave you the money to do it all. I should have just gave you the money. <laughs> and you're thinking, maybe you're thinking, yeah, it should have, that, that's how it should have happened. Oh, okay. You guys, I don't know what to say here. I don't know what to say here besides I feel like this person is feeling like you're making them feel very small right now and it's this inability there's a there's this energy or desire there's this inability or this okay this desire how can i say it this person is feeling like they don't really want to do anything else like they, like i don't even want to i don't even want to try i don't even want to do this i don't even want to like the energy that they had for this is not the same Near future, what's happening here? <clears throat> Knight of Swords. Yeah, Pisces, I feel like you said something. Like, you said something and you didn't say nothing at all when you saw whatever it was. Oh my goodness. Okay, Temperance. Okay. And so I'm hearing this person is like, for now on, I'll give you the money. Um, you can, you know, I'll, I'll, I'll invest in you. I'll just hand it to you. You know, this is the energy of where like I'll work, but then I'll give you the money to do whatever you have to do because I'm an amateur or I don't have the passion or the desire or the, the creativity like you do. So, you know, the intention was there from the heart it was and that's what you need to know pisces the intention to do well by you the intention to make you satisfied the intention to you know what i'm saying Sh put in effort it was there the effort it was there that was that they were intending to actually put that effort in that's what they were trying to do they really were trying to um cultivate something they definitely was trying to tend to something here and do right by you or a situation but yeah i feel like this is the energy of this person feeling like they fall short of your maybe your expectations or you know your desires whatever it is that you were desiring but you have to understand that i don't know it's an energy where this person saying i can't read your mind so i'm not sure if you directly told this person what you were looking for and I, I'm sorry to say, but some of you guys weren't direct about this. You did not directly tell this person what you was looking for. You did not. Like, this person just kind of winged it. Like, that's what it looked like right here. Like, they just kind of like any, many, mighty mode. They just kind of winged this to say, okay, is this something that you would like? Is this something? Like, they didn't purposely do something here. I feel like you may felt like they did this on purpose, and that kind of really kind of got you like... Got your panties in a bunch, but I'm telling you, like, I don't feel like they purposely did this. I feel like they actually put in the effort, <laughs> but they, but it's like, 
it wasn't good enough. Their effort wasn't good enough for you. It wasn't the best for you. Or, but either way, yeah, this person, see, they care. Their heart was in it. Um, wow. They may have even been trying to get help with this from a friend or a loved one. Oh my gosh, but okay. It's like, I don't know, it feels like a misunderstanding in that two of swords. Maybe it's like a misunderstanding. Things maybe could have been better communicated. Um, but I like how this person is coming from a knight to a king of cups. I feel like... Okay, so I feel like there's going to be peace here. There's going to be peace. There's going to be balance in this situation. There will be harmony. Um, so I'm not worried about that. You guys are going to come to a conclusion. I feel like you guys are going to be able to be, this person is going to be more at peace with the situation. Okay. And then we have the magician here in reverse and we have the death in reverse. Yeah, because that's your energy. You could be dealing with the Scorpio Sagittarius energy here, Pisces, Cancer, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. I was saying we had all the signs, Pisces, Cancer. We have Capricorn, Virgo, Taurus. So... I feel like, yeah, again, there's a misunder there was just a misunderstanding. And I feel like it may take some time for you to realize or this person to realize here um, what may have happened, you know? And it's an energy of where I can't read your mind. Someone needed to like speak up or say something if they didn't like something here. This is so weird. I feel like someone ran away. Like during this altercation, either you ran away or you left because you didn't like something you saw or they left. Someone, someone just, someone hauled ass when they saw something that made them angry or upset because they feel like someone didn't really put enough effort or work into it. When really that person did put a lot of effort into it. It just wasn't what you thought it needed to look like or it needed to be. But it really was a show of effort. And so, honestly, I kind of feel like this person may have went kind of like, I don't want to say overboard. I kind of feel like they may have just overthought the situation. Hmm. They may have also, I'm hearing that they may have also tried to um, leave it up to someone else. Maybe there was a friend or a family member or someone, leave it up to someone else to help them or assist them. And maybe they were kind of like waiting for that person to kind of help them uh, with this situation or to make it good for you. But maybe even that person may have like, I don't know, there's something in energy where maybe that person fell short. They could have been relying on someone else's taste. It's so weird. They could have been relying on someone else's taste or their own taste in a situation. But it wasn't what you liked. Mm. I mean, this person really didn't feel like they had the potential to do this anyway. They didn't even feel strong about this. In the beginning, they, they didn't even feel like they had the potential or they didn't even feel strong about this with this magician here in reverse. Again, there's no negative energy coming out here. There's no, no, this person didn't purposely mess this up or was like doing this to be petty or, you know, really not putting in the effort. I feel like this per person really did not feel like they even had the potential um, to do any of this <laughs> in the first place. Mm, so, my goodness, Pisces, there's uh, nothing but good energy coming from this person besides the fact that there may have been miscommunication. I do feel like, um... I feel like someone ran away or someone is going to run from this situation um, when this happens or walk away or just kind of like leave uh, because they may want to avoid confrontation, avoid arguments, um, or avoid showing someone how angry they were or at the time. <laughs> so 
that's where it's kind of, I don't know if this is something that has already happened, but this is where I'm seeing it being left at. But I don't feel like the situation is over. Like the situation isn't over. It's not done. Um, so someone may just need time to kind of like, you know, sit with their feelings and emotions, maybe even think about this, maybe see where they may have, where they may even may have manipulated themselves to feel a certain type of way. Um, but even on both ends, but most definitely on your end too, Pisces, this is what I'm seeing. And I really do feel like spirit wants you to kind of like, there's an energy of like someone wanting something to be a certain way. Um, it's unrealistic expectations coming out of here. I don't know why, but I feel that strongly where there's some type of unrealistic, unrealistic expectations coming from you, Pisces. And Spirit is saying, kill that. You need to kill that now. There's something here in your energy where it's just unrealistic. Um, it's an unrealistic expectation, okay? It's something that you want, but it's like someone else can't meet that expectations because everything is not going to be perfect. So I hope that this helped and assist you in some way. Mwah. Until next time.